haven't done yet is customize my uh, rotary station. I have Ryobi Dremel bits and I have Itachi Dremel bits. So one thing I haven't done, I've been wanting to do for a while is polish my titanium wedding ring. So I'm gonna see if the uh, so I'm gonna see if the Ryobi rotary station can do that. I'm hoping it can because it's looking a little dull and a little a little scratched up here and there. So I'm gonna see if I can buff this out and get it looking good. So after that, what I want to do is I want to get the bits that I want from Itachi and uh, the Ryobi and put them into my station. And those are gonna be my, be my main uh, Dremel bits that I that I use for building costumes and uh, working around the house. So let's let's do that. So the first thing I want to do is buff my wedding ring. Let's see if this is a good, uh, if Ryobi is a good brand to polish jewelry. I'm seriously hoping it is. I see some of this, some of the stuff that that's in he, in the Ryobi container that you get with the rotary station. Hitachi has, and the, this one doesn't. Safety glasses must go on for this. Bingo. All right, so let's turn that on. All right, I can tell you that is a lot shinier. That is a lot shinier. I'll do some close-ups in a, in a few minutes. Let's do the inside. Look at that, that is so much, that is so much brighter, uh, so much shinier. So much shinier. And that's all, I'm gonna do the outside one more time. Not too bad. All right, so let's do the outside one more time.
and there we go. There we go. The ring is warm. So much better. It looks so much cleaner. You know, just uh, looking at it this closely just shows me all the scratches I have on it. But perfect. I mean, the, the rubber molding here is actually pretty strong, but I figured it would like go in a that it would go in. Yes, you will. Excellent. Then the rest is pretty much garbage besides the besides these. Alrighty, so I finally got the rotary station set up. Uh, now I can put it back in its in its spot with everything that I that I will need, and it's pretty much good to have my. Uh, my ring polished. I've been wanting to do that for a while, and uh, thanks to this rotary station, I was able to do that. Now, of course, uh, other brands are able to do that too, like Dremel or whoever uh, makes uh, a Dremel tool or rotary station like that. But this did the trick. So, so I do not recommend you do that with diamonds. Uh, take your if your wife uh, has a diamond one, take that to the jeweler. And get that uh, cleaned up but for the guys you know that's good enough for me I don't need it professionally done I did it just enough to where I'm completely happy with it so it looks a lot better it doesn't look nearly as dull a lot shinier not new because I had this for like about three years wearing it for about three years so far oh today's my wedding anniversary by the way so so yeah and uh, it's uh so October 15th, today's my wedding anniversary, so it's good. And uh, this did the trick. It did the trick very well. And I'm glad that uh, I'm glad I got this thing. That looks so much more entertaining than just the, the rubber molding with the hole with the slots. So put that back up. So that's pretty much it. Just a simple video. I gotta get ready for work soon, and it's gonna be a easy day today. It's cold, gloomy. Pretty soon I'm gonna uh, take the uh, propane heater down in about a month or so because it's like in the 30s right now. Uh, put the fan up there, heater down here, and that the heater is gonna be implemented into, into my uh, intro. So thank you everyone for subscribing. Uh, like I said, plenty of videos coming up, and uh, I hope you guys have a good day. So this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.